Hello everyone and welcome to the Ultimate Gaming Channel. Thank you for joining me in the episode 5 of Fallen Wake 2 walkthrough. So we will continue where we left off in the last episode. So we need to find a way out of the talk show studio. And because nothing uh, else is here except the TV, let's go. Good to see you, Alan. That, that this must be an exciting time for you. But tell me, does it ever get old? Sorry, does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. This is exactly how it feels. <laughs> you know, I waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending, so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A a, a horror story, it doesn't know where he is. Modern detective story. Wait, this isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so hard. Okay, you got me. Good <laughs> prank, very funny. But yeah, I just have to say, I, I, I've not written this. I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. Uh huh. Man, that is spot on. Playing the role here, pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. Very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously. I found the uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of the Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room trapped there and he projects himself out to this dark dream of new york through the story he is writing uh, like astral projection did i get that right yeah that's exactly right go on i should be taking notes here uh, this is great stuff notes to that other alan wake in that room writing this as we speak Are we exactly all in the story town I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey book. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narrative. And something is happening now. That was all in his head, probably. And we are in the studio. Hello. Hello? Okay, now. So we need to find a way out. Yeah, don't have any items. Something's not right here. 
Let's I see now, guys. Home. Let's go. Check the studio. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? Lock the door. I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad Playing dream. Room. Could make a good horror story. Click, click, blood. Old gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? And the locked door. Probably 665. And of course, it is. For now. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. Nothing around here. Oh, lock the door again. Let's go to storage then. Oh. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Let's get out, man. Place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced about writing here for countless days. And here is the board. Let's just quickly check the board. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. You must write to escape. Okay. So the next goal is... Right. Come on, Alan. Thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Studio. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Welcome back. Uh, we have a great show for you. Another tonight. show. We'll treat you all you Alex Casey fans out there. Alex Casey himself is here tonight. The great. So let's see. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the actor who has given his face to the famous detective in the film Cube. And of course, we have Alan Wake here. Best selling writer, book. And again, find a way out of the talk show studio, of course. So nothing else is here again. We are going back to the television. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? He's confused. Well, I know it can be an awkward question to the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he Alex Casey. look the part to you? I... He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. 
Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. Let's see the movie. Trailer. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. Esther, it needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window. My own reflection haunted the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Yeah. That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Lamp in the shape of an angel. <laughs> and we are back at the studio again. So get out one more time. <coughs> five, six, five. Okay. A little bit different first time so five six five and yes nothing else is different so far nothing here but now maybe we can go here no Just see now. Okay. Now we just open the door. Hello? Now we can open these doors too. Alright, so now let's see toilets. And here is the guy. Ah, hey, man. Raid. There you are, Tom. Oh. Not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> what the hell is this? Of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> Very nice. What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's. A man, but a man with a two makes two, Tom. Egoni. <laughs> and a man with a two can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Okay, so janitor's key, right? Thank you, man. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mulls about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. 
But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. Very nice. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. Okay, man. Have we met before? Are you trapped in a dark place too? You remember Arti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. Exactly. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. Okay, it buddy. It won't take long when you get to work. The janitor was so a bit let's out there, go. but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. So let's see here. That's a map of Talk Show Studio. Finally. And now it's a locked door here. So we came all the way through around this and here. So the gray areas we not visited yet. And uh, we need to go to the basement. So yeah, it's right here. Let's go there then. And the basement is right here. Set the janitor key. And let's go. I wonder what's in the basement. And we have basement map probably between okay so yeah basement storage with gray area let's see so here nothing of interest and an old lamp and a shoe box was this what the janitor had left for me so yeah, that's the lamp video we the just saw. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. The movie trailer with Alex Casey. So let's see I now. felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Use light to find a way out, okay. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening oh, the way forward, so the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. So I'm back now here. Let's I felt try. another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. Yeah, man, let's do it. The glow in the lamp went and out, now shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. Okay, so I passed on the other side. Nothing here. No. Let's go. Here, nothing too. Yeah, the room from upstairs, but okay. So let's go there now. So let's see what is here. Oh, what the uh, fuck, oh, man. Yeah, let's lose it. Let's use the lamp. The dark place wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind. Twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times. Written countless stories. Forgotten how many. I keep failing. But I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer to the map, the key, the compass. That's defined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door to 
down to her at the bottom of an ocean. That's not an ocean and, and a lake. That's not a lake. And the end of part. Very nice. So now, radio tape. Find a way out of a talk studio again. Something is here, so for the quick save, okay, I don't want to do that now. We can go outside now, probably. And, oh my god, we are in the city. Phone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. So the call. Look at the city, man. Yeah, I like this a lot. And the map, okay. So the dark place. So we are here now. Street map, okay, this is talk show studio. Alright, so... Caldera Street Station and Highline Station and here is something. So let's just quick see. Television, radio. All right, and let's answer the phone. Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Helen, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? Yeah, man. Subway pass. Convenient. So let's go to the subway station. Come on, Alan. And the KC invitation initiation two. So we have the subway pass. We the need to find the subway Caldera station Street entrance. Station. Just see now quickly. I had what to we find did the so far. Station. So this was from the studio. We finished here. And now second part two is KC. I have to find my way to the subway, the lamp would make it emerge. Okay. Find the light for the lamp. Alright. So, yeah, let's go. So now we know that the subway station entrance is probably dead. The Caldera Street station sign was there. But the, the entrance was missing. Inside, I had to make station. it appear. Maybe I could use so the lamp to reveal the station entrance. Will not do nothing. The lamp was yeah, dead I in my hand. Them. I needed to find a light for it. Probably that light there. Let's go see that. Yeah, city is looking excellent. I mean, this small part of it at least. So called Case KC. The movie. Oh, shadows are here. I'll just try and just run past by them. Because I have no weapons, no flashlight, and a cutscene. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. 
Come on, what... What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? What the fuck? Stay here. No, wait. I need a gun. No chance. Jesse. Friends, man. He's gone now. Yeah, flashlight and the gun. Nice. For the shadows. This was an echo of the books I had written for years. So this picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. So we'll just take the light. Hope for the best. Shit. With the alley in darkness now, restless shadows block my way. Okay. Let's feel them gone. Stop me. With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. Caldera Street station sign was there, yeah. but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. So probably here. Maybe I could use the lab to reveal the station entrance. Oops. Come on, don't attack me. And let's go downstairs. So I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. Okay, man. What we have here, some bullets and energy. Very nice. I know light here. Yeah, no light here, so probably let's go outside and try to use the lamp on the second entrance here. So take this one. Go to the next one. No one shadows, no. Please don't. Yeah, so now we can go up here. So let's see. Are there a station right? Let's go then. So down here. Or up here actually. Shadows. 
Okay, run for this. Let's go inside, man. Oops, more shadows. Again, just run, run, run here. Okay, so quick save room. Very good. Let's pick up the items. Nothing here, oh my god. Maybe there. Shoebox, that's just my items, alright. So I think I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. If you liked what you see, please consider subscribing. And thank you for joining me in this episode. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Episode number 6 of this Alan Lake 2 walkthrough. So, see you then, and bye.